Now we're going to look at the final letter in solid, which is D. Now D stands for the DIP, or the, sorry, which stands for Dependency Inversion Principle. And Uncle Bob says that high-level modules should not depend on low-level modules, both should depend on abstractions. Which is a little bit of a complicated explanation, but don't worry about it, we're going to go over it in this episode. So I have I have a error handler class which I instantiate up here and basically what I'm doing is I'm setting an error handler and an exception handler both to methods in this error handler. Now this I'm actually using a very me a, me a very messy way to do this. You could probably improve upon this but this is just a basic this is just for demonstration so it doesn't really matter. So if we go into our error handler we can see the two the two methods that we called. Uh, oops, this should actually be exception get message. Um, we have our two methods that we called here. In both methods, we're logging an error to the file by calling this log, which is this. But this, if we if we think about this, this is actually breaking the first principle in solid which is the SRP or the single responsibility principle because not only are we handling the errors and displaying a message to the user but we're also logging to a file which is a, another responsibility entirely so to do this we're going to get rid of this for one we're then going to say this logger instead of this log and then we need to create this logger property protected logger and then our constructor we're just going to say construct this logger equals new logger and we'll create that file now logger.php class logger public function uh, what was it log message and this will just write to file and we're done with this, we can close this now. So this is going to work fine, everything looks great. But wait a minute, we're actually breaking the final principle in solid. But the thing is that this logger class here and this error handler class are very tightly coupled, which is a bad thing. So to do this, we'd probably want to use dependency injection. So we'll just set this logger to logger, which we will pass in the constructor. We've covered dependency injection already, so it's it's a very so it's not alien to you. So new error handle logger, and we'll just set this up here. And that's all it is. Now a much more efficient way to do this would be to use a container, but we're not going to go into that in this lesson. Do take a look at Laravel's inversion of control container though. It's very powerful. It's a great resource. Take a look at take a look at the docs and also maybe have a look at the source code.